Hello and welcome to episode number 19 of WITM. In episode 18, we saw Andrew's Night at Extreme Rules kick off too. In a great way, as Andrew would defeat TJ Perkins to be the rightful, undisputed cruiserweight champion. But the night is far from over because Andrew is going to take on arguably the five other best competitors that Monday Night Raw's roster has to offer an opportunity at their biggest prize, the Universal Championship. Oh yeah, and by the way, it's inside of Hell in a Cell. He takes on the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, the face that runs the place John Cena, the gift of Chris Jericho, the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose, and the defending Universal Champion, the Eater of Worlds, and new face of fear Bray Wyatt. On paper, this match looks outstanding and has the makings of a classic one for the highlight reels way at the end of WITM Season 3. Will it prove to be so in reality? Let's find out. Andrew versus Lesnar versus Cena versus Wyatt versus Jericho versus Ambrose. Armageddon Hell in a Cell for the Universal Championship. And our song for this match being that this pay-per-view is in part a tribute to one final tribute to ECW. We will play a song that represents ECW. It is a song that used to serve as a ECW theme. Don't Question My Heart by Saliva. Up next is the long-awaited championship match. Everybody's been waiting for this one. We have a real fan favorite taking on all comers. What a fight!
Unity. Uh, this award dance a victory step. A boss stance is a gift, and you insist it's my rep. This match fitting to in this final tribute to ECW because all six men were mainstays in ECW. All, with the exception of Dean Ambrose, every man in this match held ECW gold at some point. Andrew, of course, the six time ECW World Heavyweight Champion, five time ECW Hardcore Champion. One time ECW Tag Team Champion alongside Austin Aries and one time ECW Cruiserweight Champion Brock Lesnar, former ECW World Heavyweight Champion, I believe, twice held the ECW Hardcore Championship, I believe, three times and 
ECW television champion as well. John Cena won both the only two King of Hardcore tournaments to be held. Held the ECW Heavyweight Championship once, I believe, also held ECW Hardcore Championship, I believe, about three times. Bray Wyatt held the ECW World Heavyweight Championship once and the Hardcore Championship, I believe, three times. And I believe Chris Jericho was a Hardcore Champion at one point as well. I believe once. Dean Ambrose never held an ECW Championship, but definitely made his mark because, of course, he was one of the main three men alongside, of course, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Rest of the Shield, responsible for ending ECW on behalf of the Authority. Believing that during his time ECW, he was not only being given a fair chance, like the Purity Society, to go for ECW gold. All six men looking to make their mark on this newly drafted Raw roster as Universal Champion. And it looked to me like neither of these guys are showing signs of pulling away here. And on top of that, John, these two Andrew guys could be anywhere fighting his time. At this, point. this is what makes him one of the best in the world. Because Armageddon held the cell match, I would love to see for the first time in several, several years. I don't think he expected to be in this position. Well, not here. several years, but it's about, it's about three, four it's years. Time he's spending outside it's been about th point, three, four years, I can't speak, since I have seen a Hell in a Cell match go he outside the cell. That was a match that he's Andrew definitely remember an hour, at least an hour, possibly an hour and a half or two hours long epic Hell in a Cell match. That was between. Andrew and Kane were both being knocked off the top of the cell several times. Jericho with the walls of Jericho locked in on defending champion Bray Wyatt. Cena hit a five knuckle shuffle on Dean Ambrose and now is going for the AA. And that connects. Bray Wyatt's been down for quite some time. Then Jericho turns around and hits a code breaker on Cena. Andrew outside the ring. I believe we're hearing Let's Go Cena Cena Sucks chance from the WWE and ECW Facebook. If WWE wants former ECW fans to start tuning into Monday Night Raw to watch their ECW favorites, this is a good way to win them over. Six ECW mainstays competing for Raw's biggest prize, the Universal Championship, inside of Hell in a Cell. Now Andrew thinking flatline, Chris Jericho, his target, but Jericho is able to reverse it. Andrew for the top rope DDT on Jericho and it connects. Wyatt outside the ring now, so is Ambrose. Andrew and Cena are the only two men in the ring. Those two men bowed it out for the final ever defense of the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. That would be won by Andrew. Andrew nearly defeated Cena again to become the Universal Champion. But as Cena is famous for, he powers out at two and a half. He's looking incredibly fatigued right now. You can't help but wonder how much more this is. Andrew with a mountain mounted punches on the Cena. Cena with a reversal. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Going looking for an AA, but Andrew's able to reverse it. And rolling knee bar. We're we going to see John Cena do the unthinkable and tap out. No, Brock Lesnar breaks it up. Jericho setting up likely for a code breaker on Bray Wyatt, but the defending Universal Champion reverses. Andrew goes for cover on Lesnar. Wyatt breaks it up before it even really begins. Why was just a one in six chance of walking out still Universal Champion? Andrew rolls out of the ring. Lesnar biding his time. Jericho and Wyatt teaming together to target Ambrose. 
John Cena just now getting back into the fray. Jericho with the cover. Nearly becomes Universal Champion, but Ambrose able to power out in time. Andrew setting up for a flat line, trying to get revenge on Shield member Dean Ambrose. It's just Andrew and Ambrose in the ring. Will he pin Ambrose to become Universal Champion? Bray Wyatt gets back in time to break up the pin. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. A butt whooping. And he touches that one. Three men in the ring, three men out. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Now all six men back inside the ring. Momentum is clearly on the challenger's side right now. You got that right, Michael. Andrew targeting the Universal Champion Wyatt. Man, it's amazing how aggressive this is. Now looking to take flight. And it doesn't seem to be showing any signs of slowing down anytime soon. Meanwhile, Brock Lesnar taking John Cena to Suplex City. Wyatt tries to get back up. Andrew punches him down and connects with the frog splash. Jericho with a beautiful springboard drop kick on Dean Ambrose. And now Andrew again thinking flatline. Will he be able to connect it this time? He will. It connects to the Universal Champion Wyatt. Will Andrew not going for the cover? As he usually does instead. Turns the attention to John Cena. Oh, man. Bulldog to the middle rope to Cena. First attention to Dean Ambrose. Andrew reverses Bray Wyatt. Five men in the ring, John Cena. Been outside the ring for quite some time. Now Andrew will join him. Wyatt and Jericho teaming up to target Dean Ambrose, and Jericho goes for cover. Jericho again nearly becomes Universal Champion. But Ambrose powers out in time. Now the champion Wyatt outside the ring. Now Cena. Lesnar will join him. All six men outside the ring now. Andrew has been down for quite some time, as has Dean Ambrose. Andrew now back in ring for a Cena connects with an AA onto Lesnar. And Wyatt is able to save himself from losing that Universal Championship without getting pinned, at least for the time being. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Andrew trying to claw the ropes to get back to his feet. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming, Cole. And is back to his feet finally. Now trying to be Chris Jericho. Goes DDT. Jericho rolls out of the ring. Catch with a rolling knee bar onto the Universal Champion, but the hold is broken pretty much instantly. Now targeting Dean Ambrose. And then it's a reversal by Ambrose. Andrew rolling out of the ring now. Just Lesnar and Ambrose in the ring. Lesnar will go for a cover, taking it into situation. And Ambrose is able to power out at two. He's going back to an old friend with that one. <laughs> You're right about that. You gotta remember what works. I don't know how much longer he's gonna be able to go. All six men taking a brutal beating in this match. Wow, he was quick as a corpse on that one. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Cena with this a suplex to Lesnar off the top the rope. Jericho out of the ring now, so is Lesnar. Andrew re-enters the ring, the only man standing in the ring now. And he will join the rest of the field outside the ring. And target John Cena, bring him back into the ring. Punch by Andrew to Cena. Neck breaker to Cena. 
Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like. Wyatt rolling back, rolling back into the ring. Lesnar in the ring. Ambrose and Jericho as well. All six men. And Cena will break out the low knee bar. Lesnar said looking for an F5 onto the Universal Champion Wyatt. Ambrose connects with Dirty Deeds to Andrew. First for cover. Andrew powers out. Wyatt powers out as well. Near fall after near fall. Lesnar looking for an F5. And it will be broken up. Andrew forces Ambrose on the middle rope, but he'll reverse. Just Andrew and Cena in the ring now. The next breaker, Jericho enters the ring now as well. Man, Chris Jericho, what offense. Jericho thinking code breaker or the walls. Misses with the code breaker. And the second time will connect. Jericho goes for the cover. And Cena is right there to break it up. Refuse to send a message. Yeah, I think this guy's really showboating now. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Andrew with the series of strikes to Jericho, who was on the ropes. You superstars are well, in the bar locked in. Does he have enough left to fight out? Ambrose is there to break it up. And he wills his way out. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. game behind John Cena. Ambrose with a submission locked yeah, into Andrew. But Cena's there to break it up. Just Cena, Ambrose, and Andrew in the ring. Now Andrew rolls out of the ring. And the sound of human flesh on the ground echoes around the arena. John Cena gets out of that one. Nice move. Cena thinking AA. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Attitude adjustment connects. He's won another. This is insane. And Ambrose is able to power out. I feel like we might be here all night. What a beating. Oh, gosh. I don't even want to see Wyatt what's next. Wyatt is looking for the sister Abigail to Andrew. Lesnar breaks it up. here with this attack. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants. And that was a huge counter. Cena, the only man outside the ring right now. Andrew taunting shades of his tag team partner, Austin Aries. Relaxing there in the corner. Nearly cost Andrew the match of Jericho and nearly picked up the victory there. And now we'll be tossed outside the ring by Chris Jericho. Cena taunting Lesnar. Cena and Lesnar go to men inside the ring now. Andrew and Jericho fighting outside the ring. Ambrose and Wyatt down. And Lesnar powers out. Ambrose outstrips Jericho, or rather Andrew outstrips Jericho into the corner. Reversal by Jericho. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Hit with the um, running senton on to Lesnar. Andrew going to be outside the ring now. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Jericho has his head caught in the list of podcasts. Of the ring now targeting Dean Ambrose. Now Cena. Jumping arm breaker. Cena outside the ring now. Just three men into the ring. Now two. Andrew and Lesnar. Andrew with a cover off the spine buster. And Lesnar powers out at two and a half. Nearly we saw Andrew become the Universal Champion. That would be an absolute nightmare scenario. 
for man, the authority, specifically Stephanie McMahon, the COO of Raw. She goes through all that work to defeat Andrew, defeat ECW, defeat the Purity Society, only for Andrew one month later to become the face of your brand. Because he's a pro king, he wants to get it done inside. Leaving the ring here may change the entire complexion. Neckbreaker by Andrew, just Andrew Jericho, two men, only two minutes of the ring. Lesnar now joins him. Andrew locks in the rolling knee bar. And Lesnar breaks that up. Ran by Lesnar, Andrew outside the ring. Now just Lesnar and Jericho in the ring. And him. This is what makes him want a great counter. Reversal by Jericho. Nice. Let's Ambrose rolled into the ring now. Now Cena. Jericho with the walls of Jericho onto Brock Lesnar. And Wyatt breaks it up. Now all six men inside the ring. Cena with the five knuckle shuffle on Dean Ambrose. He connects. Universal champion wide outside the ring now. Andrew Taunting was going to target Ambrose, but Lesnar has other ideas. He wasted too much time on that one. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Andrew Auschwitz outside the ring. Lesnar goes outside, continuing to target Andrew. Just Ambrose and Jericho inside the ring. And Ambrose goes outside and right back inside. Now Universal Champion Wyatt inside the ring. Andrew and Lesnar really continue to fight outside the ring the near that cell. Would they one of them be the one to, to break that cell Still open and really make this match out. interesting? Inside the ring now. Jericho this looking for a code breaker a connects to the Universal Champion Wyatt. Cena connects with the attitude adjustment to Andrew, goes for the cover. And Andrew powers out at two and a half. Near fall after near fall after near fall. Jericho connects with the code breaker to Cena. Before Jericho can go for the cover, Wyatt with a slam, he'll try to steal the pin. But Cena comes out at two and a half. Wyatt with a power slam to Lesnar. Going for the crab walk. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. He's showing no signs of letting up. Sister Abigail connects to Bray Wyatt. The crowd came behind Bray Wyatt now saying Bray is going to kill you. Does this building have a curfew? I feel like we might be here all night. Cena was thinking five knuckle shuffle by Ambrose reverses. And now Wyatt targets Andrew outside the ring. Just a dominating display. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. How much more? How much more are you willing to Andrew misses with the springboard roundhouse. Roy Nebar locked into Cena. Lesnar breaks the hold. So Andrew goes for cover, and Lesnar will break that up as well. Wyatt taunting. Lesnar with a punch to Andrew, and a slam. I wonder if any injuries will come into play in this match. Specifically, Andrew, who is definitely at a size disadvantage in this match, just Lesnar, going to have to put him on the shelf before he faces this match Lesnar and four others, of course. 
to be King, but I still don't see him giving up. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Textbook superstar. Jericho sure with a suplex when into a cover. This, there are few better. Wyatt powers out. His presence felt there. Look at Jericho. Jericho looking for the walls of Jericho to John Cena. They're locked in. And Lesnar is there to break it up. Andrew and Ambrose fight outside the ring. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Outside of the ring here, there are so many different tools at your disposal. Yeah, they are literally... Andrew rolled back in the ring. Boy, he just got laid out. This guy's an absolute beast, King. Uh -oh. What you got in mind here? Power Lesnar bomb. taking Ambrose to Suplex to City. Oh, again? You're kidding me. Wow, what a move from Brock Lesnar. Power bomb That's city, how you I guess. sweep an opponent under the carpet. Man, oh man. That could shut the doors of the Ambrose Asylum once and for all. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Lesnar targeting... He wants to the outside. Without blaming, nothing All six goes minutes out of the outside the ring. the ring. He's showing no signs of letting up. This Bray Wyatt's a scary, scary dude. Imagine looking at the ice cream. Wyatt. Oh and the crab walk taunt. I believe Andrew is his target. Crab wants to get behind the defending Universal Champion. Wyatt with the sister Abigail to Jericho. Cena. And the five knuckle shuffle to Andrew. And thinking AA, but Wyatt goes for cover. Jericho powers out. Cena connects with the AA to Andrew. Ambrose breaks it up. Wyatt, Sister Abigail to Chris Jericho. And will not go for cover. Jericho outside the ring now, Andrew biding his time, picking his target, recovering some arm damage, and trying to gain the support of the WWE and ECW faithful. And now comes his attention to Christian, to rather Dean Ambrose. Ambrose with a reversal. Crowd once again to get behind Bray Wyatt. Looks like the fan champion Bray Wyatt is the fan favorite in this match. Well, back to old reliable. Who's old reliable? Uh, that was my first wife. Uranagi super. Uranagi by Wyatt to Andrew. Is he still even conscious? Wyatt tossed outside by Jericho. The pace of a match quite like this guy. Look at this. He's just barely moving. Sure Andrew, the only man standing in the ring, scared. Ambrose Somehow, he's it into finally came to tonight. looking for a missile drop kick pace, from the top rope, but real misses. Real All six pace. men inside the ring now. Andrew goes for a single arm and leg lock to Bray Wyatt. He's got it locked in. This could do it. He needs to and Wyatt breaks the hole. Andrew goes for a cover. Wyatt powers out. This Jericho knows how to polish off an opponent. First time for everything, I guess. Nice escape by Lesnar. And it's right his there. target Wyatt. Lesnar, Rolling the E-bar. Submission locked in. And this might be it. And locked in for quite some time. That leg of Wyatt has to be shattered. But he oh, is able to, right to break the hold. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not gonna give up. Andrew was thinking flatline. Cena broke visible. it up. Oh, check that out. 
We have a first here this evening. That was awesome. Andrew, the one man outside the I ring now. I think of his risk of internal injuries at this point in time. Yeah, this could get real serious. And he reversed it. Good move there. Has a ring. Jericho catch for the code breaker to the defending insane. champion. Why he will not go for the cover. Catch for the code breaker to Cena. Code breakers for everyone. But will be whipped outside the ring by Dean Ambrose. Andrew inside the ring now. And they join Lesnar, Jericho, and Ambrose outside the ring. As will Bray Wyatt, as will John Cena. All six men on the outside now. Wyatt rolled back in the ring. Cena back in the ring. Andrew back in the ring. Lesnar. Targeting Andrew Cena. He was thinking five knuckle shuffle, but Lesnar reverses. Wyatt with the crab walk. Crab once again getting behind Bray Wyatt. Lesnar powered out of the cover. That connects to the sister Abigail to Andrew. Will not go for the cover. Turns his attention to Dean Ambrose. Wyatt shouting to the WWE and ECW faithful, many of which supporting him, that he is the eater of worlds. And right now, he is the defending Universal Champion. Will he remain Universal Champion following this match? This match could go any way. We've had near fall after near fall after near fall. Still, no more indication than the beginning as to who our Universal Champion will be. Andrew targeting Chris Jericho now. Bray, or rather, Brock Lesnar. Andrew thinking flatline. Reversal by Lesnar. Suplex by Lesnar. Has to send Andrew outside the ring. Cena attitude adjustment. Will not go for the cover. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Andrew can lead the only man outside the ring. Unleashing it for the second time now. Jericho will join him. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Again, the crowd chanting, Bray's going to kill you. Bray, so, somewhat surprisingly, a heavy favorite of this crowd here at Extreme Rules. And you're targeting the crowd's favorite and defending champion, Wyatt. Now it's Andrew and Lesnar, the lone man in this ring, and Andrew locks in the rolling knee bar. Lesnar breaks the hold. Andrew looking for the flat line. Ambrose breaks up, whips Andrew outside the ring. Jericho, the lone man inside the ring. Cena will join him. And just goes back to the other side where Ambrose and Andrew are. Tar now is targeting Bray Wyatt. They're fighting in that corner. The one of them. The cell is busted open. The cell is busted open. Adding a complete new element to that match. Andrew sent flying through it. Are we going to see somebody go outside the ring? Maybe a. 
on top of that sound. That would add a whole new level of excitement to this already fantastic contest. Well, 86 man dare take this fight to the top of that satanic structure. Simultaneously looking for finishers. Andrew is trying to catch with the flat line to Lesnar. Lesnar reverses. Ambrose sent outside the ring. Lesnar taking Andrew to Suplex City. The city, yeah, Andrew has taken him residency man, in this has been numerous times. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Not every move is designed to get the fans off their feet. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is so and now Lesnar looking for the F5 to Andrew. When you get near all these dangerous objects. The champ just one step. Right it connects. Oh, Will Lesnar become universal champion? No, Wyatt. Breaks hands. He's in cover. On attack mode now. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? And he's trying to gain the support of the WWE oh, Universe. Targeting Chris Jericho. He's now sent outside the ring. Man, that was a vicious elbow drop. The back is the largest area on the human body in this. Lion salt by Chris Jericho, vintage Chris Jericho. Extra slow getting back to his base here. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Ray Wyatt is going in for the kill. Wyatt to the Uranagi Casino. His opponent's in serious trouble. So damaging. He's pulling out. Andrew back in the ring now. Lesnar immediately targets him. Andrew sends Lesnar over the ropes. And will target Lesnar. Andrew, the lone man in the ring now. They may not dare to join him. Andrew will take the fight to the ring. It's still curious to see if any of these men will like to take the fight outside this side. The cell is open. Now the crowd game behind John Cena. Why is Cena seem to be the fan favorite in this match? Boy, knee ball locked in by Andrew. Well, clearly not afraid to stick with a good thing here, right, Cole? Even ain't broke. No, makes it. He doesn't. Why it breaks the hole? That can make serious damage done to that leg of Bray Wyatt. Very interesting to see if anybody we add or added to the injured list following this match. We've been going down for about 45 minutes. We still have no Universal Champion and there's no end in sight. And he fails to get nowhere to go. Chris Jericho, Jericho with a long bar on Wyatt. Cena was going for a cover. Lesnar was there to break it up. There with a good shot. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to And then Armbar, one of the, fam the most famous of Jericho's 1,000 holds. Locked into Lesnar. What sheer determination. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, man, crashing and burning. A nice shot by Brock Lesnar. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. This match has taken so much out Jericho of this guy. trying to gain support in the WWE up. Universe. Man, this has been Andrew will make him pay for that. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. And there's the submission. Can and he see him make him pay with an attitude adjustment. He will not go for the cover. Is in a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. No kidding, this is getting ugly. This guy can go. Once again, chaining 
in support of the defending Universal Champion Bray Wyatt. Andrew and Ambrose, fierce enemies at WrestleMania, working together to target John Cena. Would you look at this? Can you believe it? This is an undying will to succeed. Cena and Ambrose standing on the ring. Now Jericho joining them. Dean Ambrose get out of that one. Once the back goes, it's now Lesnar. Possible to stand, let alone deliver any offense. Extra slow, getting back to his base to put his down. Championship on the line. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Look at this. Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. Going out with the third man. <laughs> Bray Wyatt measuring his man. Oh, no. Wyatt took the senton. Oh, John Cena. Oh, oh, look at this. It's, a, it's over. He's making a statement here with this attack. And after all that, the Universal Championship will remain with the heavy fan favorite, the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt. So just right one in six odds. That's about 17% chance Bray Wyatt would walk out of Extreme Rules, still the Universal Champion, but he will do so. Great six-man Armageddon Hell in a Cell match. We'll love to see them actually take advantage of that open cell, but still, what a match it was. And Bray Wyatt, your winner, and still Universal Champion. So with about... 19 episodes that will do it for the first package of WITM season three the first month in let's take a look at what will kick off the second package in our second month of WITM and take well I guess we'll have to officially end this event before we can take a look at the calendar and see as we will now be going our next pay-per-views will be brand exclusive SmackDown with an exclusive pay-per-view Raw as well. And we're about a month and a half away from NXT's first special as well. Alright, so Raw will kick things off. Will we see Andrew in action? Anna will take on Bailey and Naomi. We will not be airing that match. However... And Andrew will not be in action. We will end things right there, though. That card could definitely change. As I will likely make some tweaks, like downloading new attires and stuff. And possibly new wrestlers. Because there are a few Cruiserweight Classic wrestlers, and I believe No Way Jose from NXT... That I have still not been able to download because there were not good enough communications on them yet. One thing we will do that will likely definitely change the card is we will check on status effects and see we will return to the old system of promotions and demotions. See if anybody from the main event, from any challenger for the main titles, are worthy of being demoted to the mid card. If any mid card is worthy of going to the main event scene and if possible demotions and promotions from NXT so let's take a look at the momentums Andrew with a momentum stack three he's doing well big Cass with a momentum stacked four 
I believe it will set the standard at if you have stacked 10 before it was 5 but we had way too many promotions and demotions when we used the system in season 2 so now if it's if you have a stacked 5 positive status effects or stacked 10 rather that would be good enough for promotion to either to promotion up to next level if you are have a stacked cold streak by let's say a mm, five then you will be demoted down before it was just one would be enough for a demotion that would mean you're simply losing two matches in a row would be enough to get you demoted i believe that's a little bit of harsh so we'll make it five bray wyatt sustained an injury andrew did not sustain an injury Bray Wyatt sustained an injury in that match, so his successful tele defense comes at a cost. He has a minor head injury that will last for two weeks. It only even tells you how long the injury lasts now, just like a sports game. That's pretty nice. So he has a two week head injury, and his defensive attributes for the head go down by 10%. So Bray Wyatt. That successful title retention comes at a cost. Corey with a two momentum streak and three hot streaks, so he's moved his overall has increased by four up to a ninety four. Liv Morgan doing pretty well. She's all the way up to a 92 overall. She might, if she continues that form, we may see her on the main roster very soon. Alright, so nobody worthy of promotion or demotion yet. I may... Lower the promotion down from 10. I believe that's the last game a little bit too much. Scott's winning about 10 matches in a row. I will discuss with Andrew on the phone as to what our standard for promotion should be. Definitely the one for demotion should change. The promotion may be... May stay at 5. I believe that is a good number. Winning 5 matches in a row is pretty impressive. And if that is the case, then Liv Morgan is only 1 away from promotion. Billy K is two away, so we may see him just to, in by the time the next set of promotions and demotions comes around, two new additions to the main roster women's division, Liv Morgan and Billy K. Alright, so that is going to do it for episode number 19. And the first package of DVDs. And then kick off the next package, Andrew. Now the true and rightful Cruiserweight Champion. What will be the fallout from that? I'm sure the authority, specifically Stephanie McMahon, are not too happy that Andrew will remain the face of Velocity in the Cruiserweight division when they want to push their Cruiserweight Classic competitors instead. And Corey is Intercontinental Champion. Now Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan quite a bit more lenient and forgiving then Stephanie McMahon over on Raw. So what well the pe the men in charge for SmackDown think of Corey being their Intercontinental Champion. We will find out to kick off this in that'll be the main storylines heading into the second edition of WIT and DVDs, our second month. And take a look at our calendar. Our next pay-per-views are in three weeks. SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view over the limit, it will most likely be. And then in four weeks, Raw will have an exclusive pay-per-view, and that will be Payback. And then two weeks after that, we have our first NXT special, NXT TakeOver The End, and then a week 
after that, in seven weeks from now, we will have another co-branded Raw and SmackDown pay-per-view. And that will be Money in the Bank. So that is going to do it for the first package of DVDs and episode number 19 until episode 20 and the second package. This has been Corey.